Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between package level connection manager and project level connection manager? So let's go to SSDT and take a look. Right now what I have, I have a, a package deployment model. That's uh, the old uh, way when our SSIS packages had it. So there was uh, uh, in SSIS 2005 or 2008 or 2008 R2, you will see when you create the project, uh, this is how it will be looking like. And then uh, you create SSIS packages. Inside the SSIS packages, uh, you have connection managers pan where you can right click and create a new connection manager. The connection manager can also be created uh, uh, itself from the task sometime. So let's say you have a flat file in the data flow task. You double click here and you have the option to create a new one. The same way you can create uh, for other sources and from destination as well. So that's how the connection managers will be created. These connection managers are only available to the specific package in which you have created them. This is true only for SSIS 2005 and 2008 and 2008 R2. So those are called package level connection managers. They are only available in the package. Now let's go to the SSIS 2012 or 2014. What we have here, we have project level deployment or project level uh, connection managers. Now here I have created a project and this is a new tab that is introduced in SSIS 2012 as well as uh, 2014. Now we have connection manager here. If I would like to create a new connection manager, I can create one on OLED. I am creating OLED DB connection manager add. And then I have to provide the, the server name and database name the same way we were providing in the package to create a new connection. Once I create that uh, connection manager, it will be available uh, in the package. And uh, you can see it start with the parenthesis project and then it has the name. So we can rename if we want it. So let's go back here and we can call it uh, test DB connection manager. So that's uh, how the, uh, the name will look like. So if you refresh it, it will change the name here. Now, if I will create a new package, what will happen? Will this connection manager will be available to the new package or no? Let's see if it will be. So let's create a new package. It's called package one. And we see we can see that the connection manager, which was created on the project level, that's also available to the other new package. So that's how if you create a connection manager on project level, that will be available to all of the packages in that project. Now, if I would delete this project, uh, sorry, connection manager from one of the package, what will happen? It will de delete only from that package or it will delete from the entire project. So let's give a try and see. We are in the package one right now and I'm going to right click and delete it. So what message we get when you delete a project connection manager packages that use the connection manager might not run. You cannot undo this action. You uh, do you want to delete the connection manager? I said, okay. And what we see here, the connection manager on the package lab uh, project level is also deleted. So if we delete the connection manager for one of the package, we need to make sure this is really what we want to do. We do not want to delete that connection manager if it is set to the project level from all of those packages. And uh, uh, that's how we can, uh, we cannot really uh, press uh, control Z and undo it. Okay, so let's create this uh, connection manager one more time. So we wanna take a look and uh, right now I am in the package one. It is uh, created there as well. I am in the package, uh, uh, sorry, I was in package and then now I'm in package one. It is created. So when you create a new connection manager on the project level, it will be created for all of the packages as well. So let's save this package. Now go to the uh, integration services catalogs and uh, I have deployed this package, I actually project and uh, I want to take a look. Let's go to configuration on the package and we can see the scope uh, on, on package level and project level. So let's uh, select our project. Now what we see here, I when I deployed here, I didn't have the uh, project level connection manager. So that's why we, I, we cannot see it here. 
let's redeploy our project and see if this connection manager will show up there so let's deploy hit next select your SQL server where you want to deploy the project and we want to deploy it to this uh, server name and uh, in under the SS, SSISDB and test folder and that's our project name hit next deploy it is deployed successfully close this one and let's go and take a look refresh it go to configuration again and now we didn't had any uh, connection manager in this uh, on the package level so now if I select SSIS uh, 2012 that's our project name we can see those connection manager here so that's uh, the project level connection manager and uh, I, I was showing you we didn't had uh, the package level connection managers that's why we do not see that one so let me go back quickly and create one on the package level so you will see how, how it look like so let's uh, create a new LDB connection manager and uh, we will be using the same connection manager but this one is on uh, package level so let's uh, build our solution um, or project one more time and then deploy it again so let's deploy it same information we are uh, deploying the same place so we are not making any changes close it now go to the SQL server let's cancel this out and now go to configuration and take a look so if we are on the uh, project level we see the connection manager there if we are at the package level right now we should be able to see that uh, let me see where if I here sorry so uh, that that was the package one let me take a look so we created the, this connection manager in the package one that's why we were not able to see in the first uh, when I was trying to see in the package so there is no package level connection manager in the package but uh, we have created one on the package one and uh, that's the connection manager is available so that's how you can create a, a project level connection manager and those can be shared across multiple uh, uh, packages and uh, or you can create a package level connection manager and they will be only available to uh, the packages and in old versions such as SSIS 2005 and 2008 or two, uh, 2008 R2 we didn't have this option project level connection manager so we only had a package level connection manager this is uh, the new functionality uh, in the SSIS 2012 and um, onwards thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video